Hey guys, it's Shar with ASMR Shar. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be out here because I was going to record outside at my in-laws and suddenly a thunderstorm and rain came, which is beautiful. Just listen to the rain sounds, but if the thunder gets a little too close, then I might pause and then restart and finish this video. I hope everyone's doing super duper well. Um, let me just show you the rain a little bit and we can take some relaxing breaths to get into just our uh, energy work together. And let's breathe in. Out. Letting all the voice stress of the day go. And breathe in. Um, let's do one more as we listen to the rain. Breathe in. Oops. Out. And the cicadas are going as well. Beautiful, refreshing, revitalizing rain. So yeah, I'm, I'm visiting my in-laws in Virginia. I know I said that in the last video. And just a lot of really nice outdoor space here at their house to um, record in. So I'm going to light a beautiful sage stick and we have the abalone shelf. We're protected under the pavilion. Kind of have a really nice, really nice, kind of like a tent pavilion, porch tent. This is a uh, sage. to cleanse any negative energy, to balance and cleanse the energy, clear the space between me and you. And I just, I'm so happy the rain came right at this time. This is so soothing and relaxing. If you're about to drift to sleep, or even if you just need a, a break from the day, oh, that rain is so calming and lowers the blood pressure and everything. Today, I really just want to focus on the, um, the Celestine. I've been doing a lot of just like looking up stuff about Celestine. I think it's really powerful in a gentle way. And here it is. Beautiful sky blue. This is a raw natural piece and there's sparkles in the back as well. It's the stone known as the stone or crystal of heaven. Celestial. Celestine is like the celestial, celestial bodies, the angels. And it's known to help just call in protection and guidance from your angels from the spirit guides in general, in the spiritual world. So let's take a moment to just get acquainted with the Celestine Stone and the Celestial. See how it makes you feel. Try to be as open and receptive to sensing the energy from this crystal as much as you can.
And similar to amethyst, this is a great stone to have by your bedside or under your pillow at night. It can help with more lucid dreaming. That's like a dreamlike state where you're more conscious. Your conscious mind is a little more in, in connection with the dream. It can help against uh, protect against nightmares, night terrors, and it also is a very again that gentle power, but it's gentle does not mean not powerful. It's a very gentle, strong power. to pause for one moment. Ooh. I want you guys to hear the rumbling thunder. The thunderstorms bring a little kind of chaos and change, so it's been hot here and a cooler weather is moving in. Uh, so I like that sort of when you get oracle readings with storm or chaos or thunderstorm, it often signifies Kind of cleaning everything out, so cleaning out the energy, not only physically does it clean up pollen and sort of dirt, uh, I feel like energetically it also cleans out the world, the area around us. So it's kind of like this cleansing, so when you hear the rain you can imagine it cleansing any negativity, any unwanted uh, senses or energies that you're ready to let go of, that ready to let it cleanse out. Imagine it going out your feet and running with the water, where it can be transmuted and reused and transmuted into positive energy and recycle. And so I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, so also I want to, this, I just love the Celestine Stone. It is great for whether it's in your person, in a room, and a group of people, it is great at raising and shifting the vibration to high, high up. It is extremely super high vibration. I don't know if you can feel that. I, I definitely can. So if you're in a down mood or depressed or feeling overly anxious or stressed, even in despair, this stone is wonderful for helping relieve and release. Release now any despair that's ready to let go. If you have any release depression, release sadness. I release depression. Replace it and replace it with love and high vibrations. High, high, high vibrations. Release the sadness if it's time for that to go. Feel it. That's natural. And then replace with a gentle but powerful love and happy high vibrations. The joy of the angels, the protection and safety of the angels. Release, I release sadness. I release depression. I release anxiety. I release stress. Big or small. They're all valid to feel, but it might be time to let that go. And then replace that. Oh, okay. You have a beautiful bird energy, raising the vibrations even more. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> Beautiful grounding. I feel like thunder is very gr grounding. Oops, my sound is uh, Thunder is a very grounding energy. 
And the rain it cleanses, the thunder is grounding. And so uh, we want to replace any sadness or depression, anxiety, stress with love, a gentle love and hopefulness. Hopefulness from the angels, from the celestial bodies. Guardian angels, guardian spirit, spirit guides. Just take a moment and breathe in. Soft, gentle, powerful hope and happiness. the top of your head. Connecting more quickly, more easily helps to connect with universal spirits, universal energies. It also helps with communication, expressing in your authentic self. The throat chakra. And now I'm going to end this with a quick, uh, maybe not quick, a card reading. All right, first we have the Sacred Forest deck uh, by, sorry, Denise Lynn. These are the beautiful Pegasus on the front. And this is a collective reading. Again, take take what resonates with you, what harmonizes with your energies, and then you can make the best. And make it all. I'm going to do two. Oh, I was going to say I was going to do a different method of pulling, but some just popped out, which I love. I was going to try the one where you spread them out. I shuffle, spread them out, and then I kind of feel which ones uh, to pull. I'm going to do, going to do that with the next deck. So here we have... Okay, wow. I love it. Guardian of the Land Protection. You have a beautiful, a beautiful um, deer with antlers, like the king of the forest, like makes you think of Bambi. I'm getting a couple of things from this. Um, definitely know that you are protected. Whether your protector is, you know, like a spirit guide, like a deer with antlers, a stag, a wolf, a guardian angel, a lot past loved one, an ancestor. Know that you are protected, you are safe, always, even if it doesn't feel like it, you are protected and safe. And the other thing I'm getting from this, I'm feeling that Know that you are stronger than you think, that you might realize, and that you can protect yourself. Energetically, you can protect yourself from other energies. You have the power. You are empowered to, in, uh, to protect yourself. And then other, the second one from this step. 
Ooh, ooh, wild rose fairy for love. As always, this could mean self-love. Uh, just really a message to focus more on self-love. I'm going within and just connecting with your heart chakra, connecting with that inner love of yourself, doing affirmations. I love myself. I truly love my authentic self. I accept myself. They go kind of hand in hand. But also for others of you, it could mean whether you're single or not. I mean, I'm married. It could be a fun, wild night with roses. I'm sensing some rose petals on the bed or something extravagant like that. Some of you might be in store for a little uh, fun, romantic evening coming up in the next week. Uh, just up that flirt romance. Strengthen that love. Again, whether you're single, uh, it could mean someone's interested. If you're in a relationship, that means the romance could be elevated on the fun. I'm going to pull from... My next story is the fairy. I'm sure you probably, have, if you've seen this before, seen my videos before, the fairy wisdom oracle is one of my favorites. I love these, this one. And this one, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what, let's keep it spontaneous. I'm going to shuffle if stuff pops out pretty quick. We'll go with that. If not, I want to try the spread where I just sort of put my hand over it and feel it. What messages do the viewers need to hear it? No. Oh my gosh, that was a like 20 cards. I'm, I feel like that was me dropping this time. What messages for the viewers right at this moment, Spirit? I'm open and clear. What messages? Oh, we got some jumpers for sure. Okay, we're going with the jumpers. We got three. In case you, uh, I have some, I have very low vision from an autoimmune. I don't want to give TMI, but since my daughter ever was born, I am, I'm legally blind. So I have to use a magnifying glass sometimes, which I sometimes hide, but these words are a little hard for me to read. So if I'm ever truly, um, ooh. Okay, I remember getting this before for a personal card reading I did for a friend. Trillium. This woman, um, the two senses I get from this are, if you're trying to get pregnant or going through pregnancy, this is a good sign for fertility. It is also about self-care and self-love. It's time to go within and, and not be so hard on yourself, uh, not so much negative self-talk. And the next one, I got my little spy magnifying glass. Bad dragon. Ooh. All right, interesting. <laughs> this is fun and interesting. It's called Bad Dragon. It looks like this fairy is reprimanding the dragon. And there's a is that a dragonfly there? It's kind of like a dragonfly fairy in the middle. Hmm. This could be either someone else or you meeting, or it would be good if you could confront someone on something and call them out on something that's been bothering you in a gentle, loving way, of course. Um, but a firm, you know, good, firm, communicative way. Uh, tell someone what's bothering you uh, if something's been on your mind. It could also be the other way where someone is looking to tell you that as well. We got some thunder really rolling in now. And let me see. I love this one. Fire elements. We have a fire, almost like a dragon phoenix mix. And I'm excited because the new moon in Leo is coming up. Thursday, the um, 28th, and Leo is a fire sign. I, my rising sign is Leo. My husband is a Leo. My daughter has Leo rising. My in-laws have Leo sun and Leo rising. We are all about the Leo here, apparently. Leo has a lot of heart, 
pride, but also a lot of heart and fire, that passion. So I thought this is going really well with the new moon coming up, that fire element of this light. I'm feeling like lighting a fire under your, your ass, under your tissue with possibly a project you've been wanting to do, but not started. Take action, take fire and take heart in that and put a lot of heart into it. Um, Oh, hi. I didn't realize we are, I'll show you at the end. We, uh, my in-laws have three cats and the oldest, hi Nicolau. Nicolau is here, just chilling under the table. Um, I'll show you him some good cat energy, energy at the end. Hey Nicolau, hi. I had no idea, he was very quiet. I didn't know he was there. Oh, so this goes well with the new moon and Leo. Light a fire under your tushy and anything maybe you've been putting off something that needs to get done that's not fun could be anything you know like medical stuff paperwork bills that aren't like necessary but you gotta kind of get done or more fun creative projects um maybe talking to someone you have a crush on looking at that love thing that you've been putting off light a fire and be bold be bold and and uh, light that fire and do that action, take that project, do that project, creatively express. We'll do one more read and that's the Oceanic, there's a book report, the Oceanic Tarot, great for summer. And so I've already shuffled these, but I'm gonna do a quick other shuffle. And then this one, I'm going to do the spread and feel out which ones. Gonna be a new one for me. Okay, it's a little. It's very humid, so <laughs> yeah, a little warm out here. Excuse this. Ooh. All right. I had already shuffled these, so I'm going to span them out, and I'm going to do it on the table because that's easier, and just feel over them. Let's see. I'm going to pick. Three, I'm feeling three, possibly for whatever calls. Okay. I'm excited because I've never done this. I'm not going to get Be clear. Okay. That one for sure. Oh, yeah. We've got one more I'm going to pick. Okay, this one. Okay. Alright, so we have... Okay, I'm going to use my spy detective magnifying glass. The Vortex Temptation. Okay, I've never pulled this one from this deck. The Vortex Temptation. Interesting. Okay. Some of you might be feel might feel like you're being pulled down into like a vortex of temptation that could be of anything. Whether it's an addiction to, you know, alcohol or drugs, addiction to sugar, addiction to uh, spending money. Um, I have an issue with that for sure. Spending money I don't or shouldn't spend. Um, maybe an addiction to um, compare yourself to others, which is never a great thing to do. So I feel like there's temptation coming for some of you in... It feels like a vortex pulling you down. And I feel oops, like uh, two things. I feel definitely trying to be strong and being aware of that. That's fine. Hey, if you slip up, have a candy bar, or if that's something you're trying not to have, or whatever, that's fine. Um, or if you overspend a little. Okay, okay. Don't beat yourself up. That's not what I'm trying to say. But there might be some strong temptations 
to be aware of and to try to resist and stay strong. And I'm feeling like there's two mermaids here. A mer uh, merman, I believe, and mermaid. Can't quite tell. Um, two mer beings. And so another thing is maybe have someone, if you know the temptation is coming, have like that partner, like that buddy system thing where have a partner, um, a friend, a relative, someone who understands maybe what you're going through, what the temptation might be, and have them help you kind of resist that temptation. I love this thunderstorm that it's upside down. Wait, is it upside down? Just kidding. I love that it's not quite right here. We have a six of pentacles. It's fogging up and I'm like, ah. Oh, generosity. Six of pentacles, generosity. I'm feeling like some of you might be getting a generous, whether it's money, clothing, food, some generous vibes coming your way from someone else. Take someone taking you out for a good dinner, putting you up for a cool trip, being generous with their time and energy possibly. Uh, could be money as well. I'm getting a sense of all of these things. Wonderful generosity coming your way. It's also a good reminder to be generous when you can be. And it doesn't have to be with money. Again, it can be time, love, a smile. Be generous with your light. And then we have two of cups. It looks like pirates, which I know it's not. Sorry. Okay, partners. Oh, wait. Oh, partnership. I love this one. Two of cups, cups partnership. It could be a romantic partnership that's going to be stronger or that's coming that's new. Or it could be... I'm feeling more like a creative collaboration partnership where you connect with someone who is doing something similar, whether through YouTube or anything, and whether you're a writer, an artist, uh, something with business, I feel like this is a very good sign. Along with that fire energy from the other card, go for it. If you're feeling shy about reaching out, reach out and connect. Reach out and connect for that partnership, for that creative project, or whatever it is. Oh, the rain is really coming down. Oh, guys, I love it. Um, I am dying a little bit. I'm going to try to uh, see if I can... Oh, it's beautiful here. Beautiful. Thank you for watching, by the way. I hope that some of the crystal energy and knowledge and or the card readings helped and resonated with you. Let's see if I can. I'm going to make you a lot of noise. I'm going to show you Nicolau, the cat energy, after I show you this gorgeous, gorgeous ring. Oops, sorry. Let me see if I can... Look at that. Hey, I'm gonna... Oh, I dropped a tarot card. He's sleeping, baby. Oh, let me go on the other side and see if I can... I'm trying not to slip on the patio because it's so wet. some good Nicola. This is the, uh, my YouTube channel. We got some good cat energy. He is so sweet. Such a sweetie. Oh, yeah. Try to get some beautiful cat energy. Loving vibes. Yeah. He's just relaxing with the storm, right, Nicola? <laughs> I know. I know. Mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, so, sorry this table is kind of a mess if you just saw any of that. So I'm hoping you have a really good, oops, sorry, I kind of want to get back to the rainy part. Go out and enjoy rain, nature, and the thunderstorms. Refresh, have it cleanse your energetic system if you can get out. And again, I'd like to mention it's new. I know I made an announcement video about this before. Um, but I am offering intuitive card readings at different levels. They'll be in the description box, um, as well as custom videos five minutes, um, I forget, I, it's all down there. The shortest is five minutes, it can go up to 40 uh, minutes to an hour uh, at different price ranges, and that would be personalized, pre-recorded just for you, both the card reading and the personalized video. I would love, love, love um, to message back and forth about anything. It could be any kind of topic for the video, um, anything with crystals, nature walks, honestly anything. So I hope you have a beautiful high vibe day. I recommend getting into this nature. It's gorgeous.